Things can change so quickly, in an instant. I always find the Passover week fascinating, how quickly the crowd changes. On that first Sunday, they see Jesus as being a hero. As he enters Jerusalem on a donkey, the crowd go wild. They take off their cloaks and they throw them on the floor, a symbol of welcoming a king. And they begin to shout these words, Blessed is the King of the Lord Most High. They begin to quote Psalm 118, a triumphant psalm of celebration, as they say, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. But by Friday, things have changed dramatically. Jesus doesn't look like much of a hero as dawn breaks. He's been interrogated twice already and spent the night being mocked in the high priest's cell. Then he's interrogated again and again until finally his fate is handed over to the crowd. They can release Jesus, the man they have welcomed, or release Barabbas, the violent revolutionary. And the crowd shouts, Barabbas, Barabbas, Barabbas. And Jesus is sentenced to death on a cross. How did the crowd change from cheering to jeering in just a few days? How could they welcome him one day and then call for his crucifixion the next? As I read the story of the Passion Week, I think the crowds must have had the wrong idea as to who Jesus really was and what he was really all about. See, at that time of year, the city was swarming with people. It was the Passover week. Tensions ran high as the Jews celebrated their release from freedom from Egypt all those years ago, and justice being dealt to the Egyptians. And the question on everyone's lips was, when was God going to do this again? And it's into this potent mix that Jesus enters Jerusalem. Jesus, the miracle man, who keeps speaking about the kingdom of God being at hand. The crowd would have known the stories about Jesus, about how he had raised people from the dead, how he had touched lepers, healed the sick, cast out demons, walked on water, and they probably thought, surely this is the one who can free Jerusalem from the Romans. The crowd had this great truth, that Jesus was the King. They had celebrated that on the Sunday. But they wanted the kind of King who was going to show Rome who was boss, with violence. But Jesus was not that kind of King. Perhaps they should have guessed by the way he entered Jerusalem. Not on a stallion ready for war, but on a donkey as he wept. I wonder if we are sometimes like the crowd. We only get half the picture. We call Jesus King, but we want him to do things our way, in our timing. We say Jesus will follow you, but only when you're going the way we want you to go. Perhaps often we want a saviour and a rescuer, but we don't want a Lord or a master. The Easter story is about making Jesus king of our lives. He is more than a ticket to heaven. He is to be our master. Perhaps for each of us, that is a challenge this Easter. <laughs>